Welcome to another episode of q and Air, the weekly show where I try my very best to answer your filmmaking questions. And I totally slack off on camera. And sometimes we make a go-OK -okay show. <laughs> this week's question actually comes in from Twitter. Yeah, that's still around. Uh, it's from Ron Perty and HUD TV. They both asked about good and cheap ways to capture audio on set. Emphasis on the cheap. But before we get to the question, everyone should know that there is an important update on the subscriber drive prizes, prizes, at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Okay, recording good audio. This is the number one mistake that most beginning filmmakers make. I did it, Justin did it, you did it. You might even still be doing it right now. Stop it, stop! We're sick of it! Rule number one, the microphone on your camera is not good. I know it's shit. I'm sorry. I know I, I don't mean to curse, but it's true, it's poop. So you've got two options. Number one, get a better microphone and plug that into your camera, assuming your camera has a microphone input, or option two, take that better microphone and plug it into a separate audio recording device, like a field recorder. Either way, you're gonna need a better microphone, but the good news is you can find some for cheap. The cheap microphone that I would recommend today is actually the same cheap microphone that I recommended on the original QNR. You're like a psychic. I know, me, over three and a half years ago, and that is the Audio Technica ATR 55. Flashback. The Audio Technica ATR 55. Or as it's called today, the Audio Technica ATR 66550. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. I think it just has more numbers. Either way, it's only 50 bucks and you can get it online. Now I'm not gonna say that this bad boy is a great microphone. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it's, it's good. Uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, but more importantly, if you use it in the right way, it's still gonna be way better than your onboard microphone. And if you wanna see an example of this bad boy in action, just watch the first, say, 20 episodes of Backyard Effects, because for a long time, this is all that I had. It's one of these. So let's talk real quick about how you can use this and the right ways to use it that it's better than your onboard camera. And namely, that means you can get this as close to your actors as you want, which is exactly what you wanna do. You want this thing as close to your actors as possible without it being in up, the shot. Take it up, nope. take it up, nope. take it higher. I can't. I can still see it. I can't. I can still see I it. How do you get this or any other shotgun mic close into your actors? Well, you need a boom pole. How to build a boom pole? A cheap one with an awesome shock mount. You should check out the newest episode of Backyard Effects with Zach Finfrock. Episodes in the description. Bam! The answers are down here. So thanks to Andy Mogul, you got your cheap shotgun mic, you got your cheap boom pole, you've got a friend to hold it, or you've duct taped it to a tree, or a tall person you've lured on set with candy. What do you do next? As I said before, the easiest thing to do is just plug the wire into your camera. The cheap mic that I've been talking about has a little plug like this. It's called a 1 8 inch and it's basically the same size as a headphone jack. Most cheap cameras will have an input just like this, so you're good to go. If you've got a fancy camera, it'll have a XLR input. This is an XLR cable, it looks like this. Either way, you can get cheap adapters to make these all fit together in unnatural ways. Uh, no. But let's say that your camera doesn't have one of those plugs, any of those plugs, or you don't wanna be shooting the camera and have it tethered to all these cables. So you wanna lock this thing down with an external field recorder. Us on this show and most indie mogul programs, we use this guy right here. It's a Zoom H4N and it's pretty awesome. This is probably more hardcore than most beginning filmmakers will need and it costs about 300 bucks but the company makes a smaller, cheaper version. It's called the Zoom H1. It's only a hundred bucks, and that cheap Audio Technica mic plugs right into it. Or as a side note, let's say you already have an iPhone or iPod Touch. I recently was shooting a Q&A video from home. 
didn't have the zoom with me and I actually just used the built-in audio recorder on my iPhone, flipped it upside down, held it just out of frame and it sounded great. If you want more info, I've got this other video where I talk about how you can even more use an iPhone or iPod touch as a field recorder, link in the description. But whatever field recorder you choose to record your separate audio to, at the end of the shoot, you've got your video on your camera, you've got your audio on an SD card or something, now you need to put them together, you need to sync them, and there's a couple ways you can do that. Number one, the painful and terrible, terrible way is to do it manually. And for that, you'll wanna, you wanna do this anytime you're shooting separate sound. You wanna get a clap on camera so that your camera sees the clap and all the audio hears it. Or the fancy way is to get one of these. Same principle. You can do it manually, line up the claps, but oh God, it's not fun. Option two is you get this sweet program called Pluralize. This, they have versions that work for Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, or for your iMovie or Windows Movie Maker users, they have a standalone version called Dual Eyes. Either way, having the computer do it for you is priceless. Uh, but the program is, it, that costs like 150 bucks. But they have, free 30-day trials that are fully functional. Yay! Okay, that's it. Those are my humble tips for getting a better audio on the cheap. Number one, get a better cheap microphone. Number two, get it close to your actors. Number three, plug it into your camera if you can, but if not, plug it into an outside field recorder and then, like that, and sync it in post. Done. Now onto our subscriber drive prize giveaway. So we reached our goal. Yay! So I've got to give away this awesome one of a kind prop skull. This totally mass produced but also cool cowboy shoulder stabilizer rig and three indie mogul prize swag packs. Now originally I said that you have to be a subscriber to win. Now that's still true but I've decided to add an extra layer to this contest to help decide who of those subscribers will win this awesome stuff. It's very simple. Number one, be a subscriber, obviously. Number two, leave a comment on this video saying which prize out of the five that you want, and more importantly, why you should get it. Now here's where it gets interesting. The comment on this video that gets the most thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. That's gonna be the person who wins, assuming you're a subscriber. You have to be a subscriber. You've got five days to get more thumbs up on your comment than anyone else. What? Anyone else. So let the comments begin. <laughs> 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 we'll see you next week.